Now we're going to prepare the HT2000 and we'll make sure all the hardware components are on the device in case they're not on there when you start the case. The first item is the power cord which will plug into a standard wall outlet. The next component is the IV pole. The IV pole hangs on a bracket on the C-arm of the device. There is a gray temp uh, heat exchange temperature probe that gets placed on the sensor connection panel and is tightened. There are two blue temperature extension cords that get plugged also into the panel. And then we'll move them out of the way towards the back of the device. There are two water lines that get placed on the water line hookup. The connector is pulled back and snapped into place on both water line hookups and then you ensure that they're solidly connected. The final component is the reservoir bracket which will fit on the side rail and we place it lower on the bracket. And those are all the hardware components that get assembled on the HT2000. And now that all the hardware is on the machine, we're going to fill the water bath of the machine. So to start, we go down to the drain of the machine, we open it and ensure that there's no remaining water from previous use, and then shut that valve. Following that, you'll pull open the water filled tray, and two liters of sterile or distilled water will be added to the fill tray. The tray is then closed and the device can be powered on. We'll power on the device by turning on the power switch on the back of the device. The HT2000 will now go through a boot up process which takes approximately one minute.